I'm a Texas girl. If you like mountains, you can go find some mountains if you want. The water, the beach, it's kind of whatever you want, there it is. Picture a Texas landscape, and odds are Kathina Hatla has painted a picture of it. From the Gulf Coast to the High Plains, she travels all around the Lone Star State without leaving her home studio in Bryan. And even as large as Texas is, she could probably finish a road trip faster than one of her carefully crafted canvases. I t take thousands and thousands of little brush strokes to create something like that, and this one has like seven or eight different layers. I start at the back and, and then work my way front to the foreground. And, uh, it takes a long time, and I kind of put my heart and soul into it, you know, just, they're my babies. <laughs> Each finished piece represents an artistic marathon for Kat, and just like that long race, they are all milestones to her physical abilities. See, creativity comes naturally to Kat, but painting has been painful ever since she became paralyzed. You don't paint like everybody else paints. How do you do this? Well, with a measure of determination, um, I only have use of my thumb and these two fingers. Um, this left hand is all contracted and my pinky is getting that way and these two fingers feel like pins and needles all the time. So holding my brush, mixing the paint, squeezing the tube, opening lids, I have to do it all just with one hand. But yeah, it just kind of comes with the territory. I've just had to learn to adapt and modify and go on. Several of Kat's landscapes feature dark, imposing Texas storms. They represent life's unexpected struggles, like the one that changed her life more than 20 years ago. Um, it was the day before Easter. It was April 3rd, 1999. And I was just feeling very excessively fatigued. I said, like, what is wrong with me? I just feel like I'm being pulled and down into the ground. And we went into the emergency room. And when they did finally call me back to the exam room and asked me to get on the exam table, I took a step and f fell flat on my face. It soon became apparent that I was not able to move. Out of nowhere, this seemingly healthy wife, mother, and science teacher walked into a hospital and never stood up again. A rare virus had attacked her spinal cord and left permanent damage. I was in rehab for five and a half months, and then they finally said, well, you've plateaued out and we're gonna have to send you home. According to most people, I could just stay home and draw uh, disability and just kind of drift into the, the woodwork there and kind of disappear. But I said, I'm not gonna do that. I'm stubborn headed enough, I'm perseverant, I'm long suffering. I said, I can do this. And so she pressed forward, first in her career. This science teacher got back in the classroom and still teaches full time today and then her daughter convinced her to pick up a paintbrush. The rest, as they say, is history. Now two decades into her disability, Kathina Hatla is making more art than ever before. These scenes have become her therapy, her motivation, and her self-expression. In them, the sun isn't always shining, but she creates beauty in the storm. In spite of, you know, Every illness, hospital stay, surgery, everything that's come along, every, I have just tried to keep forging ahead because I'm not going to let this define me.
Looking for more stories like this one? Just hit the subscribe button for more great stories about Texas and Texans.